rectangular back this time with a haul slash review if you watched my haul of the Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy figures I'm going to do something similar with this video I'm going to be showcasing this amazing box set here this is the 2014 San Diego Comic Con exclusive Marvel Legends uh, Thanos Imperative box set. Whew, that's a big mouthful. So, um, I didn't actually go to Comic Con and I didn't have anybody that was going to Comic Con able to hook me up uh, with a set, so I resorted to eBay because they have not showed up on Hasbro Toy Shop yet. We don't even know if they're going to get any and if so, how many. So, it's always, <laughs> the way I feel about it is uh, better than, better safe than sorry. So I picked this set up and um, didn't break the bank too much. Um, the cheapest I've seen the set go for is 150 so I paid just a little over that. Um, anyway, this is the outside of the box. If you want to see more of the box, uh, definitely check out Chartmus Prime's review. Uh, basically, you can lift up... Um, or pull down the bottom of the box and it'll explode Blastar there in the mouth of the Galactus engine. Alright, so let's flip it around and then you can see the figures in the package because I have not opened this yet. Alright, here we have the back of the package where you can see all the figures, well, four of the figures, that is. Got Medusa, Black Bolt, Star Lord, and Gladiator. So, this is uh, quite a big box if you purchased the Thunderbolts box set, this box is only about oh, a half inch shorter. So very similar packaging. Definitely check out uh, Shardimus Prime's review if you uh, want to see it in more detail. I'm not going to go into great lengths about that. Let's move on. Okay, so here we have all the figures out of the package. And kind of have uh, mixed mixed emotions, I gotta say. I was really, really looking forward to this set. I'm a huge fan of cosmic characters, and it's not a bad set. I really like the selection of characters. The Black Bolt, I am probably one of the few people that didn't think there was that big of a deal problem with the uh, original Hasbro version from the Nemesis wave. It wasn't a great figure, but it was pretty decent as far as older Hasbro figures go. The only thing that figure really needs is ankle pivot. I didn't really care so much about the cloth wings. I know a lot of people gripe about those, but they look fine to me. It's much better than having these ridiculous plastic hunks that you can't do anything on this on this guy. So, um, Let's see. Let's start off with Blastar. Um, probably, I mean, his paint apps are probably the most simple of all the figures. There's no lines, no, uh, other than what's on his shins there, just those four blue, light blue, um, boxes. And, uh, you know, they did a good job on that. Uh, my biggest disappointment, oh, well, the face turned out nice. He's got, uh, nice bright red eyes and his teeth they painted well you can see all of his teeth there get some more light on him um, so not too bad my biggest complaint is that again just like the Hulk that he's based on no no paint wash on any of his uh, muscles any of his flesh it's all just solid gray plastic which probably wouldn't have been that bad if they had gone and made the um, the metal parts on him you know the belt and the boots and the shin pads um, you know the wrist gauntlets if they had made those more of a uh, so more of a silver um, shinier uh, paint color it's just too matte to contrast with, you know, he's so, such a gray figure already, and it just doesn't, there's not enough contrast as far as I'm concerned. So, 
Um, I'm hoping that I can remedy that with some paint. Um, the hair does look like it's uh, two different colors of, um, you know, it's gray and black. So that that looks pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with that. So good, um, but you know, half stepping is what we're seeing on Hasbro's part more and more frequently. So uh, you know, they had the potential to make it a probably a great figure, and it's good. It's not great. Gladiator. I'm extremely happy to finally get a Gladiator. We've been desperately needing one for the longest time. Been a lot of good, really good customs. I think um, Stevie D made one of the best. And uh, I had planned to make a Gladiator because I didn't think we were ever going to. Excuse me, I didn't think we were ever going to get one. I uh, had an extra Hyperion, so I don't have to make him now. Um, paint apps, not not the best. Um, he's got quite a bit of different paint on him so a lot of places for them to screw up and they pretty much half-assed it on a lot of places. You know obviously when you buy off of eBay you're gonna get the um, the sloppy seconds that people don't want to keep that are gonna sell off the ones with the worst paint apps and keep the best ones for themselves. I think the seller had six sets and he sold four and kept two for himself so obviously he's gonna pick the best ones. so uh, here we have uh, not enough red around the ab crunch there hopefully you can see that and the gold is pretty splotchy it's kinda of bleeding in some places on his on the triangle on his chest it's you know missing in areas and then kinda of bleeding into the cracks on his musculature in other areas so pretty sloppy there the gold on the cape um, especially around the the front edge here is pretty sloppy definitely needs more gold there to cover up the red of the plastic um, you know if you watch Shardimus Prime's review it talks about uh, the kind of extra articulation in the head it doesn't really bother me that much um, I don't mind it because I, I can make him look straight up I mean he can fly so that doesn't doesn't really bother me so much but there you know a lot of paint um, there's a lot of uh, like globs where it's either missing or there's too much or it's just the plastic um, it just looks really I don't know, I'm probably not gonna see that on camera but uh, just very sloppy, kind of chewed almost there underneath his head. Fortunately, you can't see it too much when his head is when he's looking straight forward. But it's enough to bother me. What they did do right is with this uh, plastic that they used for the um, Ironmonger and the new Iron Man. It's that uh, plastic that's got the paint swirled into it. That was a brilliant move. Um, bravo to Hasbro for that because you don't have paint rub. Um, the blue is not going to flake off because it's part. Of the plastic is that color. So um, I applaud them so much for that. But um, just a lot of really bad paint execution. Um, it's either. I don't know if you can see that it's missing here, here. Um, just yeah, just really half-assed. Um, a lot of uh, blue paint on the red areas that don't belong there. Um, but uh, you know they did put a wash on them, which is nice. Uh, it's just you know they they think they just rush the these through QC if they even do a QC to get them out to Comic Con. So you know the gold is not very complete there on the back. The red is you know showing up there's blue showing up in the red where the paint definitely needs a second coat um, like the wash on the cape and gives it some black dark accents so pretty nice it's a decent figure but you know fortunately I can paint so I can fix him but man if you don't have uh, someone in your um, circle of friends who has paint and can paint then uh, you're gonna be want to be very picky on the uh, paint apps if you can 
if you have the opportunity to pick what figures you buy. So Star Lord, extremely happy to get him. Um, uh, this was from uh, Volume Two of Guardians of the Galaxy, which I am a fan of, but um, I'm really digging um, the Bendis run, the Volume Three of Guardians, and um, I'm not going to be 100% happy until I get uh, Star Lord in his spacesuit, uh, which I'm. I know I'm in the minority. Most people not not a big fan of that, but uh, I am. Um, so. You know, we have the, the movie version, which is fine. Um, they did change the costume in the comics to reflect the movie suit, which I'm not a fan of at all. Um, I think it was a really lazy move. Um, and uh, this they did a good job on this. Obviously, we've seen this figure before from the AIM soldier. Looks like they um, originally sculpted this for Star-Lord and then reuse that mold for for the aim soldier but at least they didn't half ass as much on the uh on this figure as they did on the aim soldier they actually painted the buckles and um let's see the buttons the uh, buttons do look like they're might be a slightly darker color than the suit and they did a good job of matching the um Rocket Raccoon color for the plastic, so happy about that, that you don't have mismatched um, colored suits for your Guardians. Um, the pants on the Drax, the um, original Drax that we got from the Arnim Zola wave is also the same um, dark blue. Uh, I saw a gentleman on Facebook who um, made some customs and in the comics on, you know, in his defense, in the comics, a lot of the artists do paint these costumes in a lighter blue. So, whatever you know, production design they went with uh, on this paint scheme for this figure, they went with the whatever artist painted them darker. So, um, you know, just gonna have to live with that. So they did a pretty good job as far as the red. Um, the you know the, the lines are pretty straight. But um, definitely could use a second coat. There's a lot of places that there's uh, you know gaps in between the lines, and the gold, um, just like on Shardimus's figure, it uh, needs more paint there to fill in all the gaps. Basically, it only looks like they what they've been doing a lot lately is just putting one coat um, where they really need to uh, to go back and put a second coat and I don't know how their production um, works if they're if there's somebody doing this by hand or you know it's done by a machine It'd be really interesting to see that would be that's one of my things on my bucket list is to tour uh, one of these Chinese factories and see how Marvel Legends are actually made so that would be really cool process to watch especially I used to work in manufacturing so um, it's always fascinating to see how things are built. So um, looks like the mold for the head, uh, pr pretty much all the figures are going to have this dent here. It's probably where the helmet was um, attached to the mold and it, they get, it cl gets clipped here and um, they're not sanding that corner off before um, they put it through the paint process. So it would have been nice if they had maybe done it on the back or um, maybe you know on the inside somewhere where it's still stuck to the mold because um, that's really obvious um, I don't remember um, Quill having a dent in that corner of the helmet I don't think it's supposed to be there I think it's a production flaw so um, overall pretty good the helmet definitely could use more gold in uh, around the brim the helmet and they've been almost on point with the um, with the what's it called the on the mask the lines uh, on the vents of his mask are close to where the mold is not um, or the sculpt I'm sorry but um, yeah and also I think the yeah the rims of his goggles um, they did not 
hit very well with the with that uh, orange paint either and I don't know if the um, centers of the lenses there are also supposed to be orange and just like Shardimus was complaining there's no um, but nice to have a wash on these guns um, or make them a slightly darker color because they just look um, like cheap thrift store um, guns that you get like from a dollar store figure so uh, good not great as far as that goes um, that's Star Lord so moving on to Black Bolt uh, the paint apps <clears throat> on a lot of these are pretty bad I saw a um, kid get one off of eBay for 15 shipped I think because the paint apps were so bad on his but um, this one actually turned out pretty well the <clears throat> worst part <clears throat> excuse me uh, worst part is uh, on the on the tips of the wings it's missing paint there um, could definitely use more silver and they're kind of bent I guess as he got bent in the package like that this I think it was just a horrible horrible design to have the the wings molded on I mean if you're gonna do a um, a plastic wing instead of a cloth wing put a peg on it so that we can peg them on you know have a peg on the uh, rib cage and have a peg on the arm so that we can you know peg him in one way when he's flying and peg him in another way when uh, when he's not using them um, but personally I, I prefer the cloth wings and I'm kind of considering cutting these off and putting the cloth wings on from my nemesis version on this figure and then um, or actually just cutting these off and then if I want to have him flying I'll use my nemesis version and um, if I want to have him uh, on the ground you know it the only thing that sucks is that the nemesis one has got you know those funky paddle hands so that makes more sense to have him um, flying with those and then uh, you know when he's on the ground you know, if he's just negotiating, I, I don't know. If he's going to be a clenched fist all the time, I guess. I don't know. So, uh, not too bad. They could use a little another coat of paint, I think, on his flesh. And his chin is a little bit uh, weak. But at least his eyes look uh, don't look too derpy. And the um, tuning fork is pretty straight for the most part. Could use more paint, I think. But... Uh, uh, this, they didn't actually screw this one up too bad. I mean, <laughs> they, they really don't have an excuse since uh, it's just it's a black plastic figure with just some silver paint in a few areas. Medusa, my Medusa is kind of a nightmare. Um, I don't know that the I thought the 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 sculpt for her hair would actually come down further. I don't know if there's something wrong with mine. Uh, where she got shortchanged on the hair, but uh, you know she has to like lean back if you want to prop her up on it. Um, there you can see the how far she's got to lean back. I figured the hair would come down far enough so that when she stands up straight, you know she could uh, support her on it because it's so heavy. I mean the the head with the hair weighs just as much if not actually weighs more the head and hair are heavier than the rest of the figure so man this was just a really really poor execution there's no reason why they couldn't have um, put some pegs in here and make it so that you can act, you know you can peg in pieces of the hair um, and you know have have a hinge on it so that you can actually you know articulate it and have her um, be able to move it in certain ways so that when she's standing in more than one position you can actually get her to stand up without falling over you know especially since they put these gigantic high heels on her 
you know, they have very little surface area. I mean, she does have uh, peg holes, which is incredible that they were even actually able to do that. But, uh, man, just so many things wrong with this figure. The uh, paint apps are terrible. There's uh, a lot of uh, missing paint there on the line. And uh, it's, like, chipped off there right above her knee. It's like I got a scrape here. It's just, it's a nightmare how bad this, uh, I mean, it looks like a four-year-old's been playing with this figure for eight hours a day for two weeks straight. This is how bad the paint looks like it's uh, ready to just chip off. And, um, yeah, just the, how rubbery the, the knees are just, you know, adds to the, already difficulty in getting her to stand um, and her neck is just you know I can understand why they tried to give it a high neck like that so that uh, her hair could clear um, the shoulders it, you know to get her to be able to look in more than one direction but um, I don't know. It, from a lot of angles, it just looks really awkward. What I'm hoping to do is uh, get a casted head of uh, another female character and uh, hopefully sculpt some hair, um, maybe on magnets or um, wires or some. Just got to find some way of being able to make it poseable, articulated, because. Um, you know, this figure is really only good for, for static poses. You can't really do a whole lot with her. So, anyway, I've gone on quite a bit. Mostly a, um, <laughs> a rant about, uh, the things I don't like about the figures. Um, which is sad. Uh, I was really looking forward to this set. And, um, uh, I'm not, I'm not unhappy I bought it. But, um, you know, it's not cheap if you can't if you can't uh, find a way to get it at cost then you know you're gonna you know pay a significant markup and for that amount of money you would hope that um, the the paint apps would be better and you know just better execution of things like Medusa in her hair and Black Bolt in his wings um, but at least with paint, I can fix a lot of those issues. What I can't fix are, um, well, without a lot of work, I can't I can't fix things like uh, like her hair. So anyway, hopefully you guys like the video. You share with your friends. Please leave a comment below, and if you haven't already, I hope you will subscribe. All right, talk to you guys later. That's crispy.